Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given radical equation and moreover, we are going to check this solution as well. So let's go ahead and get started. And here I have copied down this equation x power square root of x equal to square root of x power x. So let's go ahead and start simplifying this thing. The left hand side, I'm just going to leave it alone. Just leave it like this one. And on the right hand side, we want to convert this radical sign into exponential one. So I can write x power x. And then this radical could be written as square root as 1 over 2. And now on the right hand side, we can see two nested exponents. So we are going to use this power rule. So once again, left hand side, we are just leave it as it is equal to this could be written as x power. We are going to multiply this thing. So this could be written as 1 over 2 times x is going to become x over 2. And now let's go ahead and take the log on both sides. Log on this one and log over here as well. Now you might be wondering why didn't I take this natural log over here. So let me just make it clear it doesn't make any difference. Our answer is going to be exactly same. So the one that we are using is called common log. That means our base A is 10. The natural log has a base A. That's the only difference. And now we can see this exponent over here and we are going to use this power rule according to this rule we can drag this exponent and move it to the front likewise we are going to drag this exponent and move it to the front of this log so we can write this one as a square root of x times log of x equal to x over 2 times log of x and now let's move everything on the right hand side so we can write log of x x over 2 by the way in the front log of x and then minus square root of x log of x equal to 0 and we can see over here this log of x is in common we can factor this one out I can write log of x times x divided by 2 minus square root of x is equal to 0 and now we can see that we have these two factors as you can see over here they are equal to 0 so that means I can split them up I can separate them I can write log of x equal to 0 or the other one is going to be x divided by 2 minus square root of x equal to 0. So we got two scenarios. And now in this our next step let's go ahead and consider this first case. I'm going to just copy it down over here. Log of x equal to 0. Now we are going to solve for x and we know that this is a common log so the base is always 10. Now we want to convert this one into an exponential form by using this rule as you can see over here. So I can write this one as 10 power 0 equal to x. And we know that 10 power 0 is 1 so therefore our solution turns out to be x equal to 1. Now let's consider the second case, this part over here. Let me go ahead and copy it down. x divided by 2 minus square root of x equal to 0. Let's go ahead and solve for x. Let me move this square root of x on the right hand side. So that is going to give us x over 2 equal to square root of x let's go ahead and take the square on both sides on this one and on this side as well on the left hand side we got x square divided by 4 equal to this square and square root they undo each other we got 
x, I can make it x over 1, then let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we are going to get x square equal to 4x. Let's move this 4x on the left hand side. So we got x square minus 4x equal to 0. And now let's move on to the right hand side as we are running out of space on the left. So we got x square minus 4x equal to 0. Let's factor out x which is in common. So we got x minus 4 equal to 0. Since we have these two factor equal to 0, I can separate them. I can write x equal to 0 or x minus 4 equal to 0. That means x turns out to be 4. So we got two solutions over here as well. So thus we got x equal to 1, x equal to 0, and x equal to 4, these three solutions. And now we're going to check which one is going to work for us. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and check our these three solutions one at a time. Now let's first check x equal to 0. And here's our original equation. Let's fill in the blanks. So we got 0 power square root of 0. Question mark. Is it equal to the left and right hand side is 0 power 0. So we got 0 power square root of 0 is 0 question mark is it equal to 0 power 0 now we know that 0 power 0 is undefined therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 0 value so this is rejected and now let's pick x equal to 1 value over here let's fill in the blank so this is going to be a 1 power square root of 1 is it question mark is it equal to square root of 1 power 1 we know that this is 1 power 1 because square root of 1 is 1 question mark square root of 1 power 1 is 1 so that means 1 turns out to be 1 so that means this statement is true so therefore we are going to accept this x equal to 1 value and now let's check x equal to 4 solution and here I have replaced x equal to 4 in this original equation as you can see that our left hand side turns out to be 16 and the right hand side is 16 as well so that means this statement is indeed true. So therefore we are going to accept this x equal to 4 solution as well. Thus our solution set turns out to be a 1 and 4. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.